episode of So Yeah Cards. It's brought to you by Legend of the Boy. All young boys dream of having superpowers and being able to do great and wondrous things. Legend of the Boy is a science fiction tale that combines the notions of power, might, right, and destiny. It is the tale of a boy, a stranger to this world, who not only has to save the world, but must destroy it in order to move the human race forward. This is not a story for children. Legend of the Boy, an ebook available exclusively at Amazon.com. Hi there, it is the second Saturday of the month, so I would like to welcome you to my first episode of So Yeah Cards. This is a different kind of show. Um, I got the idea basically from having to um, purchase greeting cards and not always enjoying the experience. I guess you could say I kind of have a love-hate relationship with greeting cards. Um, I'll probably talk a little bit about you know the commercialism and everything that goes along with the holidays and greeting cards and things like that. But mainly I'll just be telling you about how some cards are really cool and how some of them are just really awful. And so and I guess I'll start today. I think I'm going to be looking at I think these are two birthday cards. And so first thing I want to start off with is one reason why I like greeting cards. And probably the next time around I'll say a reason why I don't like greeting cards. But in this day and age, the cool thing about greeting cards is, is there really is a greeting card for pretty much every occasion. And um, that's really cool because sometimes, you know, people get busy and, they, and the sentiment is there and they don't know what to say. But to be able to just, you know, run into a store and pick out a card, it's the greeting card to me is one of the quintessential, it just epitomizes the things that tell you, I'm getting tongue tied here, but when people say it's the thought that counts, a lot of times they're referring to greeting cards and not to be, you know, cheap or anything, but sometimes it really is just the idea of giving someone that greeting card makes all the difference. So I do like greeting cards, but you'll also be finding out about some of the things I don't like about greeting cards. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start out first with this blue envelope. I like colored envelopes. Um, most of the time envelopes are just plain white or that kind of eggshell color and there's nothing wrong with that. But when I get a card, especially if I get one in the mail and it's um, colored, I don't know, something about it just kind of brightens my day. I don't even like pink, but I've gotten greeting cards that have come in pink envelopes and I've been very excited. So let's see. This one. Oh, I remember this one. I got this one at the store under the section called Humorous. And I'm always curious sometimes about what is supposed to be funny and what's not really supposed to be funny. I think this one is actually funny, so I'm going to show it to you. Hopefully you can see it. You can read that. It says, you probably think your birthday is a good excuse for a wild, outrageous party. And there's the little guy in the party cake. And then on the inside it says, <laughs> which is funny because you've never needed an excuse before. Ha ha ha, so funny. This may not be a slap your knee kind of a funny card, but it is humorous. So I like this card. Um, this is from the Tender Thoughts line. You can get this card at the Dollar Store, Dollar General. Um, Target used to sell these, but I don't know if they carry these anymore. You might be able to find them at Walmart. Uh, I know they don't have them at Walgreens. I looked, but the Tender Thoughts, I think dollar store pretty much has the market on that but you can get them other places originally this retailed for 225 I don't think that's what I paid for it but if I had to if I liked this you know if I came across this card and I wasn't getting it for like my best friend in the world and I wanted a funny card I think I'd pay two thousand and twenty five cents for this card I like the card because it has bright colors it's shiny there's no glitter on it though. I don't like glitter. I don't care if I am a chick, I don't like glitter. But I like the fact that this is a sparkly card and it doesn't have glitter. 
and so the picture is kind of generic which I'll talk about sometimes it's good to have a generic picture sometimes the pictures are just so generic it's like you should have just handwritten a note or something but I, I like this card it's not bad and again I like the blue envelope so let's see and here's the classic white envelope again not bad just doesn't evoke that sense of ooh I got a card um, and these cards obviously I didn't get these in the mail these are actually cards that I went out and bought um, it's funny when I went out I bought I started to buy a whole bunch of cards that I liked and I thought it's not gonna be very good of showing contrast of what I do and don't like cards so then I had to force myself to buy some cards I didn't like and I this is um, I can already tell this is one of the cards I don't like because it's covered in glitter but that's not the main reason why I don't like this card this is a birthday card and it was in the for him section of the birthday cards can you see it it's a nice sparkly birthday card covered in glitter it's silver glitter on blue background just because a card is blue doesn't mean it's for a dude. Don't get me wrong, I understand gender roles change and things like that. But for the most part, no guy wants you to give him a card covered in glitter. And I swear, this came from the For Him section birthday cards. Again, this is Tender Thoughts, regular retail price, $2.25. I would not buy this card for that amount, especially not for him. Um, now, I'm a girl. And I love blue, so you might think, hmm, Toy might like this, except for the fact that it has glitter on it. If you know a dude who likes glitter and blue, and you want to get him a generic birthday card, have at it. But for the most part, I'm going to say no on that one. Oh, and I guess we should at least look at the message. Maybe the message is, you know, powerful enough to overshadow the fact that I don't like what's going on with this card. It's okay if you do. But I don't. So let's see. It says, let me show you. Can you see? It? It's kind of handwritten, so let me read it. It says, thinking of you with warm wishes for an unforgettable day. Yeah, I understand all these cards can't be poetry. You know, they can't be life empowering or impactful. But that was just really, really generic. For all of this glitz that's glam that's going on in the front, I feel like the message inside should have been a little bit more than it is. So, <clears throat> that's what I have for today. That's my quirky odd show called So Yeah Cards. And if you noticed in the um, opening you know, titles for the show, underneath it, it says not always what they're cracked up to be. And there's a prime example. I would love to know how you guys feel about greeting cards. I know people who refuse to buy greeting cards. And then I also know people that's that's all they do. You're not getting anything from them but a greeting card. And if you're lucky, there might be some money in it. But we'll talk about that another day. So that's that. <laughs> that I guess you could say that was interesting. Um, so I will be investigating more greeting cards um, next month so please come back for that if you would like to follow me on Twitter you can send me pictures of greeting cards that catch your eye tell me some funny stories I'm actually gonna try to find some of the greeting cards that I've received over the years and share those with you as well as the ones that I bought so if you have interesting stories you want to tell me about greeting cards I'd love to hear them you can use the hashtag so yeah cards and you can possibly be featured in my next episode. So I would love to see some pictures of some kooky, funny, awesome, horrible greeting cards along with your stories. Again, that's hashtag so yeah cards. You can follow me on Twitter to do that. Next Saturday, I'll be posting an episode of Toy Box Movie Reviews, but on Monday, I'll be posting an episode of Pop Quiz Pressure. So, you don't have too far away before I have more content for you. So please stick around for that. And remember, if you are interested in sponsoring or guest hosting a Toy Box episode, you can visit etoythomas.com to learn more about that. And that's all I have. So, this is Toy Thomas saying, 
I think that authors should be just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars. See ya.